Guys, before this vlog starts, I just want to let you know all the locals to South Florida, February 11th, I'm going to have two tables at the Sneaker Exit event. I'm going to put a flyer up right here. Make sure you guys come out. Tickets are only $20. I believe you can get them either pre-sale or at the door. Again, I'm going to have two tables. I'm going to be selling a bunch of my clothes. I'm going to have the off-white keychains. Even if you're not going to buy anything, just say what's up. Come by. Check out the event. It's going to be a really nice event. So make sure you guys come out to it. Again, the sneaker exit, February 11th. So you have about a little over a week to get your plans, get your rides. South Florida, it is in Miami. Again, I'll put up the flyer and all the details down below. I will have two tables there. So make sure you guys come out. Goodbye. Reebok Windbreaker. Fortunately, no big logo. If they did, I would definitely cop. What do we got? Some vintage dolphins. Damn, I thought this was polo. Huff stripe shirt. Unfortunately, there's stains all over, so can't get it. Found this really sick Star Wars pillowcase. I think this would be a sick custom. And then I'm not really sure what this is. Champion Dolphin jersey, but I think it's custom because that LL Lee. I don't know who that would be. 66, got the champion. I don't know about this jersey. So we're starting off the vlog at a thrift store. We're doing another trip to the thrift. We just hit up one Goodwill. I'll show you guys what I got there. Now we're about to hit up this store. Let's see what we got. All right, as far as shoes, let's see. We still got the Reebok Classics sitting here. We still got the Nikes. What else do we still got? We still got the Skechers sitting here. Actually, these are different Skechers. Got some LeBron, Kid LeBrons. Some Nike 6.0, like Hemp Edition. These are pretty fire. What are these? Some Kyrie's. Nothing good today. Some Hirachis. What are these? No brand. Uh, had to pass on the sneakers today. If you guys saw last time, we had a bunch of the bootleg revenge hoodies. Well, they have a bunch more today. Even the back print. It's kind of funny. They're all asking $10, though. If they were real, they'd be worth it. But the fact that they're bootleg, it's just not worth it. This orange one, they got all of them, literally. If they were asking maybe $5. I would definitely pick it up. Or $10, though, definitely not worth it. Pull Ralph Lauren, little shorts, little rider. Let's see if we can find any champion jerseys. Oh, there's a champion, but not the champion that we need. You guys know we always find nice jerseys here, but they're always taxing like crazy. So let's see. They also have a bunch of blank, like these school jerseys. I don't know why anyone would actually want those. Miami Heat, bunch of Miami Heat jerseys. Miami Heat. Miami Heat, geez. Let's see what else. Got some dolphin jerseys. Some dolphin jerseys. Uh, nothing special. Vintage Miami Hurricanes. Brand new with tags. But see, this is the problem with this thrift store. It's $8 for this shirt. Like, I would sell this shirt for $8 by itself. So, obviously, I can't buy it. It doesn't make sense for me. These prices are just... That's why I don't really like coming to this thrift store. I don't really get too much from this thrift store. Just because their prices, like, look, $5. And this is a Target t-shirt. They actually crossed it off because it probably said like four dollars like I don't understand why thrift stores try to charge more than the actual stores then they wonder why they have so much inventory just sitting but eh, we'll keep trucking let's see what we can get oh, is this some Mickey this jacket's crazy I actually thought that that was like the Kanye bear but I have no idea what brand this is decimal it's kind of crazy and then they got the crazy vintage Columbia another Hurricanes crew neck simple Nautica brand new with tags though Florida Gators, vintage Fila like track jacket. I wish they had the matching pants. Vintage Polo Ralph Lauren, they are asking 20 bucks though, but it is the little skier patch, all black like a fleece. Uh, I probably shouldn't be passing this up, but 20 bucks I think is way too much for this, so we're gonna pass that. Damn, I've been looking for some camo overalls for a while, but unfortunately they're size 38, 32. If they're 32, 32, that'd be perfect, but damn. Boys section, we found this vintage Nike vest, pretty fire, as well as this Polo Ralph Lauren, we're asking ten dollars each, so a little expensive. Nice little Tommy Hilfiger denim jacket. Unfortunately, twenty-five, so we got to pass. See any good shoes today? What are these? Some Air Maxes. Holy crap, these are so beat, though. Air Maxes, some Nikes, Air Assault. I've never even heard of Air Assault. What else we got? Nothing good. Nike Shocks, some Nike Air. Uh, anything good, anything good. 
doesn't look like any good shoes today. They still got a bunch of those Rothko like Desert Storm sneakers. LRG hoodie. I think it's a big size of like 4XL, 3XL, 4XL. A lot of embroidery though. We saw this last time, but they're asking $8, so of course it's still sitting. Tommy Jean. Little North Face shirt. Unfortunately, no big branding, so we're gonna pass. Vintage Tommy Hill figure, $7 again. I don't know why they're asking so much on these plain ass polos. Adidas, but like the logo has like the Olympic style with the torch. They're asking $4 though, taxing. Can you guys see it? Tommy jeans. Oh man, no big flag though. What are these, just khaki long pants, 34, 32. Little flag right there. Gonna pass though. See shoes, these are sick. Sperry's size 13, 30 bucks. They got these New Balance, they're my size, but they're really plain, 574, only 30 bucks, but yeah, gonna pass. Damn, I really wish these were my size. These New Balances are crazy. Size nine though, 30 bucks. So far. Then they got these blue ones too, these Rev Lights. Size nine, 35. Air Force Ones. What else do we got? Sperry's. Some Mr. Freeze Converse's. Crazy. Nikes. Just on these brand new Vans, my size. I think I'm gonna try these on. These things are so fire. Levi's denim vest, 16 bucks. And then I saw the brand new Polo Ralph Lauren. I think they want like 18 for this. Not bad. Let's see what else we can find. So if you guys saw yesterday, I did the mall vlog and they were doing cross colors. Well, here we go, cross colors, $8 long sleeve. I might pick this up. $8 isn't bad. Jurassic Park, crazy puller off the rim. Like the stripes on the bottom, stripes on the top. It's crazy. This black pyramid shirt, Chris Brown. They have so many hats. This one's sick. Team Glock. Vintage Glock hat. What else do they got? It's like velour hat. Oh, I'm knocking over hats like crazy. Oh my god. This is pretty fire. We got the champion New York Jets. Ten dollars though, tax. Got this odd future tank top. Seems like it's brand new. They want ten dollars. I think that's too much, so I gotta leave it unfortunately. This is a pretty fire new age Tommy Hill figure, but it's all cut and so Hill figure. How much do they want for this? Probably ten, twelve dollars. Definitely gonna have to pass on that. Crooks and Castles. Got some camo. What is this? Crew. If you guys remember that, skateboarding back in the day. Nike. Girl. Zoomies. Brand new. Was Twenty-one. Ten dollars. Damn, this is pretty fire. We got a staple pigeon jersey. The baseball jersey all button up. 75 with the stripes going down the side. Let's see how much they're taxing on this. Twelve dollars. It's not bad. I might pick this up for you guys. University of Miami Hurricanes, but on a champ t-shirt. Damn, this is pretty fire. I've never heard of it. Rise as one but it has like that bape kind of look to it. And Revenge is the best serve cold. I think I'm gonna pick this up, a size XL, but this thing's so hard, limited edition. This is pretty sick. This is the Area 72 Galaxy LeBron Nike t-shirt. It's pretty fire, we got this Phila pinstripe jersey. Damn, just came up on this super fire vintage Polo Ralph Lauren. It is a 2XL, but if you look on eBay, one's going for 80 bucks, so we're definitely gonna pick this up. 
Well, with the matching cross colors long sleeve, we have the cross colors tank top. I might leave this though, just because we are still in winter, so. Eh, it's brand new with tags though. So we just found the other Nike Galaxy t-shirt, the LeBron one, and you look on eBay, and this one's new in tags. What the heck? Now this is the only one listed, I can't find any other ones, so I guess maybe we'll grab this. Well, just leaving Plato's closet, we end up leaving with four items. We got the polo long sleeve, the Nike sh short sleeve, the cross colors long sleeve, and what other thing? We got something else. Now we're gonna hit up about two other Goodwills. Fuck, let's get it. All right, let's hope we have some good luck at Goodwill. So to start off, we got this super fire vintage boss piece. Got the boss and the boss on the back. For boss people, boss sportswear, Hugo Boss. Got a Puma collab with Dallas Cowboys. Shout out to Dallas Cowboys, it's actually one of my dad's favorite teams. Ooh, vintage Nautica. Little cross colors, no branding though. Let's see what else, Sean John. Some more Nautica, little boat though. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Got the little embroidery frag. Probably gonna end up leaving this just cause eh, it's nothing too special. Vintage members only. Unfortunately there's a small stain right there so we're gonna have to pass but this jacket is super nice. All red. Pretty cool Nike Air shirt. Nice little North Face jacket. Little fleece half zip with the pocket right there. Size large. Summit series. Damn I thought I found a Marlboro shirt but nope. Bootleg. This is really nice, like a subtle flex. We have the guest jeans that'll spell out zip up. Mm -hmm. I might leave this though. Leave for somebody else. As far as the shoes, we got these Nike Dunks, Nike Air Forces, size 10, 15. Sure, off the little rack, we found this Puma Ferrari like shoulder messenger bag. Talia right there. This thing's pretty fire. They're asking six bucks, but. Other than that little stain, it's still really nice. I think I'm gonna cop. Vintage Marlins backpack with Zephyr Hills, huge branding. For asking 10, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. We got a little blue and yellow fanny pack. It's been a long time since I found a Barack Obama shirt. 2003 Marlin World Series champion. Got the vintage skulls. It's not the green one, but it's the same like type. It's on a Tennessee River tag too. Never heard of this brand, B Wood, but it's a pretty fire shirt. It's all like cut and sew with like the bandanas and like a mesh bottom. I'm gonna pick this up. I guess it's just a cross colors kind of day because this is actually brand new with tags. Got the Jack family affair. Oh, and then we got another one actually. And then we got another one. Oh my God, someone dropped off all their cross colors. That's so funny. Because we go to the mall yesterday and we see the reprints. And then today, we go to Plato's Closet and see across colors. And then now we walk into a thrift store and find nothing but cross colors t-shirts, brand new. And then right back, we see a Tommy Jeans V-neck. Unfortunately, since a V-neck and just a small embroidery, we're probably gonna pass on that. Got the vintage Tommy Jeans t-shirt, size medium. I was really hoping that we would find more colorways. We just found this white cross colors. Again, brand new with tags. Someone definitely just dropped off a box of them. Let's hope that we find, oh, I already see it. We got a yellow one. Oh my God. Shout out to whoever dropped these off. And then our uh, purple cross colors. This one doesn't seem like it's brand new with tags, but still fire. Well guys, you guys saw we got so much stuff. Now we're gonna hit up one more Goodwill. Let's hope we have the same good luck because this was amazing. Women's vintage L.L. Bean, like little fleece line jacket. Super fire vintage polo sport fleece with a little polo sport spell out with the pockets on the side. Oh my god, and an American flag on the back. Holy crap, this thing is so fire. Definitely a cop. Vintage Nautica, unfortunately a Nautica spell out is falling off. Kappa jersey, just a little Kappa logo right there. Nothing too special. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger, a little small box though, but that's a super, super mini. They're asking $5, so I think we're gonna pass on this. Super fire, we got the bootleg Chanel. Coco, Vintage Nautica Jeans Co. So we're just gonna leave with the Chanel and the Polo Sport and then head back home. Well, guys, I just got back home 
And honestly, I'm gonna kinda do a thrift haul tomorrow. I'm gonna separate this vlog. I quickly gotta come home, edit this so I can post this for today. Ryan doesn't stop this month. I'm really gonna try to upload every single day of February. You know, this is 2018. I said I was gonna upload for a whole entire year. That clearly didn't work. I fell, I fell through like the first week. So let's see if we can do at least 30 days or a month of upload. So today was the insane trip to the thrift and tomorrow will be the trip to the thrift. But if you're kind of curious on what I did pick up, make sure you guys check out link down below, EMC vlog for the 25 items of the day or a few couple days. Again, you guys buy stuff and I will update it. So make sure you guys check it out, emcvlogs.com. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I started using the teeth whitening and yo, honestly, it's like, it's really working. It really is. And what's kind of crazy about it, which I had no idea. Do you guys remember how I said they have a day and night toothpaste? Well, the night toothpaste, first of all, has a little moon on it. That's a little sick. Like you, you can't get it mixed up. But the way you definitely can't get it mixed up, guys, it's black toothpaste. Black toothpaste. I've never seen black toothpaste ever before, but supposedly it has like coal in it and it's supposed to make my teeth really white. So I've been using black toothpaste during the night and the daytime toothpaste is regular white. And then again, I've been using the blue light, but you guys let me know in the comments down below if my teeth are looking a little bit like whiter. You know, I'm trying to make them at least this white. We're on like a 12 week challenge. Let's see how it is. I know 12 week is a lot and I just started this literally a week ago, but I, I don't know. I like it. I don't know. We'll see. But that is going to end today's vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow for our EMC vlog. Make sure you guys come back for the thrift haul. Make sure you guys check out link down below for my vintage online webs. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at EMC vlogs or on my vintage store at DITR954. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget guys, let's get it. It was Blake, it was Devin, it was Igor, it was Paul And I found out you're a prostitute, so it was more names than I recall Should've listened to the cops, should've listened to my pops Should've listened to boogers, man, why did